Hello, hello. How is everybody today? It is seven o'clock and hold on, trying to get my iPad up. And we are going to do a Digi Doodle Studio stamp. Okay, so if if you will look up in the right or left hand corner, there's a little box that says live. If that box doesn't say live, then you're watching the recording. So I just wanted to let you know that, okay? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Alexandra. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Christine, Bobby, and Cheryl. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Sandy. You're here not late. Hi, Mary. Hi, Cheryl. Hey, Kat. All right. We got 20 peeps. Let's do this. Okay. I knew Kat would be here for this one with the puppies. Hey, Miss Bobby and Sandra. All right. So let's get started on our skin. Hi, Darlene. Okay, so as always, you, I know I never change when it comes to my foundation. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lily. I know, right, Kat? Thought of you when I was doing this one. All right. So I'm just going around. This is just my foundation. There's nothing fancy. And I'm just going around the edges. Okay. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Gail. All right. So let's go in with our E triple zero. We're just going to keep adding on, giving us lots of nice layers. for her skin combination. Did anybody download this image? Are you coloring with me? I know I say that all the time, but very rarely do I hear, yes, I'm coloring with you. No, I'm just kidding. You guys are awesome. All right, and then don't forget her little leg is showing right here. All right. Thank you, Darlene. Hello, Mary. Okay, E double zero. Thank you, honey. All right, so just continue. Okay, I did something I never do. I changed her hair color. So some of the numbers I gave you are not I'm not using because I changed her hair color at the last minute. And I've done nothing but stress myself out. Just saying. So you guys are going to be watching me figure this out live. So let's continue to lay down all our foundation. Hi, Doris. I know, right, Sandra? You're coloring pears? Nope, Cheryl, they're going home on Saturday. Which reminds me, I will not be doing a live on Thursday because we're taking them to the Baltimore Science Center. They are so super excited. We took them two years ago when they were here and they absolutely love it. So that's what we're doing on Thursday. Thank you, Sharon. Hi, Beth. Thank you, Michelle. Hi, Denise. All right, E11. All right, so I'm not gonna go completely down her face. Just right about here. I would rather add than have too much. All right, and then 
just gonna go down around his nose. Okay. All right. Hi, Tina. Thank you. It is a super cute, isn't it? Yeah, they will. They love the Science Center. We took them um, to um, play indoor miniature golf today. And guess who got three hole-in-ones? Yeah, yours truly. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I was like, what? Okay, and then our E21. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Selma. If you're new to watching, please say hello so we can all say hi to you. We like new people. You love this image? Yeah, I knew you would. All right, so I went a little thick right there, but we're going to see if we can't push it back a little bit with our lighter colors. All right, so let's go back to our E00. Right? I couldn't believe it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push up a little bit right there and then I want to make sure I blend as much of the line process out all right so let's continue to blend out all right Hi, Polly. All right, and I'm just gonna do this to her fingers. And then I'm going to try to blend that dark line out. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our E triple zero. I was thinking about you today, girl. We need to hang out. All right. All right, and I wanna leave plenty of room for my highlight color. I am just gonna complete finish coloring her little hands with the darker E triple zero. Um, hi Pamela. Welcome back, honey. Doris, it depends. It takes me a while only because I'm trying to figure out colors. But if I already knew all my colors, it would take me about the same amount of time. But when you are trying to do colors, you know, find colors to match your paper and all that, that's what eats up all the time. I hope that made sense. All right, so see how I'm just trying to blend in these lines so that they're not like in your face? I'm coloring her face. <laughs> I made it funny. All right, so now let's do her cheeks, E93. I must thank you. I got out of doing the dishes because you're on, even though I cooked. Quit. Awesome, Polly. All right, so when I do the Digi Doodles, um, I like to put their cheeks color all the way up under the eyes. I don't know why, I just do. All right, so let's do the R double zero. 
because the R00 is going to blend in the line from the E93. Okay? And then you're going to go back over with your E000. Yeah, sure, and there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> yep, it takes, for me to do one card for you guys, um, from start to finish, I design it on my silhouette, and then I pick out all my colors, I pick out my paper, um, what else do I do? And I put it all together after I color it. I would say uh, quite a while, a couple hours or more. But you guys are worth it. I love it. Hi, Beth. Do you color several of the same image and put it aside for another time? Yes, I do a sample one. And I do a, um, I do this one. So I end up having two of the images. So that I can make two cards. And I have a bunch waiting to be done. And I did that wrong. Alrighty then, like I said, we're going to wing it. I was changed my hair color at the last minute. And I shouldn't do that, but I did. So we're going to do this together. All right. Thank you, Cheryl. What do you do with all the cards you make? Um, I sent some to my sister. She has a little shop. She's going to try to sell some, but if they don't sell, then I'm going to start giving them away to the girls here on the lives. Because they seem, they said they like, they would like that as prizes. All right, so... Let me look at this one more time. So let's do, we're just gonna make this her part and we're just gonna make that black a little bit longer. This is me fixing a boo-boo, okay? Only happy accidents. Right, Sandra? Okay, so right here, I'm going, it's going to be highlighted here. So it's going to be a little bit darker right around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my E49. Whoops. And just start blending out. And like I said, we're winging it on the hair today. All right, we're just going to do the top and we're going to do it twice because I always do my hair twice. Good, Polly. I am proud of you. I will gladly win any cards with pups on them. Just saying, right? Hi, Janie. Um, they would be, uh, who asked the angel all? Beth, they would be, um, where you buy, oh my gosh, my words aren't coming tonight. Okay, so when you buy images, it comes with some rules, and if they say you can sell their images, if you've hand colored them most of the time, 
then you can. I just sent a few to my sister. All right, so this is the E90, E19. But each individual artist has their own set of rules. So if you can't find their angel policy, then you can, you know, email them or however they say to contact them, do it that way if you're unsure. Okay, I hope that answered your question. And let's go back with our E49. Don, what I've been doing on my part that I may not be sending my fans running on another amount of them. Hi, Pam! All right, so see where I left that? I needed to do some flicks out this way. There we go. All right, so let's pick up our E19. Just keep continuing your hair color. So miniature golf, it was fun. The boys had a really good time. And it was an indoor one, and it's called Jurassic World. So it was with black lights, and it was, it was really fun. And we basically had the whole place to ourselves. So we didn't have to wait for anybody to finish. We could just go right to the next spot. So there was me, um, Uncle Josh, Tristan, Little Josh, and Dad Doll. So we had a really good time. It was worth every penny. Hi, Kathy. We all got here almost. Hi, May. Trying to color and watch. I don't know how you chat with us, <laughs> Beth. Um, I don't think about it. <laughs> if I thought about it, it might be a little bit harder. But I just, I just, well, you notice how I do get quiet sometimes. When I'm doing little complicated areas. just gonna come up from the flower because there will be a little bit of shade right here does anybody have any other questions that I can stumble over like I just did those are but yeah I think I'm gonna start giving the cards away as prizes because i asked you guys what you wanted and that was i said i wanted to do more prizes and that's what you guys said you wanted so that's what you're gonna get thank you melanie um they call him dada because he said whatever they call him is what his name was going to be. So we went down to see Tristan when he was just a baby and he was just starting to talk. And um, just about everything he said didn't make sense, but he used to call men dad doll. So that's how he got his name. He called Rob Dadal. And that's how we have a dad doll. All right, so I'm going to go in very lightly. <clears throat> I can't do either. She can color so much faster than I can. Oh, 
Thank you, Sharon. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna lay a little bit more dark, not a lot. Because, this is, like I said, this is a dark, dark, dark color. And I don't like that, so I'm just extending it just a little bit more. Thank you, Michelle, like I said before. I changed the color at the last minute. Stress myself out. I would sure make me happy to receive a card you have made. Oh, thank you, Bobby. All right, so let's extend our red out a little bit more. And remember, if you don't like the first layer, it's going to change when you put your second layer down, okay? All right, and then the E39, which goes over the red and extends into our highlight area. I'm not liking these dark tips, but you know what? It is what it is. All right, and then we're gonna lay our E13. I wish the last color you put on their hair, we can't see the lids now. Oh, okay. All right, let me scoot over a little bit. There, is that better? There. I'm sorry. I apologize. My bad. I still have more hair to do. Okay, there's the top part. So let's start moving down. E49. You like the dark tips? Thank you. I have a card I got in a frame and it sits right by me and I admire it 20 times a day at least. Oh, <laughs> Kat, are you talking about the puppy card I sent you, girl? Oh, that really touches my heart that it means that much to you. Thank you so much. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down further our colors right here. And whoops, light strokes. I'm a little heavy handed tonight. We all have those days. Today is mine. So as much as I love my grandbabies, boy, they're wearing me out. But I'm having a blast with them. Last night we played Uno. Even Uncle Josh played. We had so much fun. And everybody won at least one hand. Um we kept playing until Tristan won. <laughs> he kept losing, poor guy. And he had me sitting on one side and Dad all sitting on the other side. E49, E19, E39, and E13. That's right. Hi, Lily. Thank you. Hey, Charlotte. All right, so let's go in with our E19. And extending out, light strokes. Hold your marker lightly. Take your time. I forgot to do a little bit over there. 
So we'll just we'll just add it. I'm gonna go Everybody's quiet. I don't see the comments flying by. Is it because I'm quiet? I'm sorry, Jackie. Probably a rough day for you. But yeah, we have fun playing Uno. Um, Uncle Josh, Dada, and Tristan ganged up on me. They all lay down plus twos. So I had to pick up six cards. They were laughing. What kind of container do you keep your Copics in? Um, I have a container that I bought off of Etsy. The place that I bought it, they, they're not in business right now. Um, but there are other companies on Etsy that make a similar product. Um, let's see. The place I bought it from was Our Gray Barn but they said they were moving and that they would start up again, but they haven't. So I would go on Etsy and look up um, Copic marker cases and see what comes up. Mine's, mine's big, but it holds all my markers and I'm taking them with me when I go on my retreat so hopefully i have enough room at the table for them okay then we're going in with our e13 the only english speaking station too that had 20 year old tarzan oh that's funny All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly go with our second coat because we want that lush richness of putting the second coat on. It really does make a difference. All right, so I only have to do the E49 in a few places, like right here. And wasn't there someplace else that I missed? Just put a little hint. And you know what I started doing again that I haven't done in so long? I started reading. And I had an actual book in my hand. OMG, I forgot how much I love to read. It used to be my favorite pastime. Oh, good, Michelle. Yeah, it is a pretty color. I just didn't practice it. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't like to try anything new on a live. I like to have practiced it first, but I don't think this is coming out too bad. And it's like a burnt red color combo. 
So I think I'm liking it. I'm trying to hurry so we can move on to the next area. Looks like my current hair color. Oh, awesome, Alexandra. Let's see, till you started coloring, right? Loving that hair, Dawn, you Oh, thank you, Alexandra. Uh, the Holocaust. Former librarian, glad you started reading again. I bet you are, yes. Oh my gosh. And I'm flying through my book. I'm reading a Francine Rivers book called um, Redeeming Love. Oh my gosh, it's so good. She's one of my favorite authors. All right, our hair is done. Woof! All right, so let's go on to... Oh, I'm trying to get my legs up here. Okay. Oh, we forgot to do her lips. So I'm using R29 for her lips. Okay, so I have to be quiet because this little tiny area. And we don't want to scare the ink because if we scare the ink, It'll go out of the line. Sandra, are you holding your breath? And Polly? Okay, everybody, breathe! Yes! All right, so let's do her little, her little top. So I'm doing pinks, and I'm gonna do an undercoat of B32. I used to read Nora Roberts all the time. Hi, Al Alaya. How are you? Oh, I do too, Beth. I, I think it's my third time that I've read it. I mean, that's how good it is. All right, so let's go ahead and lay down our first layer. And everywhere I'm going to put this blue is going to be a shadow area. I'm going to come out just a little bit further there. Yes, Polly, you can breathe now. Let's see. Should I hold my breath? Laugh aloud. Moving closer when you did that. Laugh out. Yeah, I used to read her too. Back in the day. I'm trying to think who else I like to read. Uh, Terry Blackstock. I uh, can't think of the other girl's name. I love her books. I wish I could think of her name. All right, so like I said, everywhere I'm laying down the blue is going to be shadowed. Oh, we can't forget this arm. Do you guys even notice this little puppy back here? When you're looking at it, you don't really notice him because he's so tiny. just adding it around him okay I think I have that book Linda cat there's a book called Rena promise she was my neighbor the first cattle car and the last cattle car out Wow all right RV 34 See how it gives it a nice, rich look? 
So you're getting two colors off of one marker. Whoops. So right here, we're just going to make it the one color because it's going to be shadowed and it's so tiny. You do not want to try to add more color to that top area. I mean, you can if you're brave. Just that in. Who likes this color combo? It's like a purpley peach or purpley pink. The blue really makes it, the purple come out. And then right here. Okay. So that was the RV34. Now we're gonna go in with RV32. Let's see, do you have dogs, Dawn? Anything, Adrian? Fring is amazing, I met her. Uh, Mary Higgins Clark, oh yeah. Nicholas Sparks, oh yeah. Um, somebody asked me a question. Uh, do you have dogs? No, I did. I did. I had um, two beagles and I loved them, but they both passed away and I just never got another dog. And Rob's, Rob can become allergic to them. So I had... Um, I had the dogs um, when I wasn't with Rob. So, no dogs for us. Even though dogs love Joshua. Oh my gosh. Any animal loves Joshua. It's like they sense he's different. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my RV11. Anyone out? Uh, you've always had dogs? <clears throat> All right, so let's go in from this end. Blend. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. Oh, we forgot her collar. All right, let's do her collar real quick. B32. RV34. RV32, I will be doing a blog post on this. It'll be up tomorrow with all the Copic combinations and um, all of the links to everything so that you can make this card you don't have to go looking everywhere for it. All the information, it will all be there for you in the blog post. I want you to succeed in your card making journey. That's important to me. And as always, if you have questions, 
private message me on my Don G Designs page. I will be happy to answer them. All right, and the RV, oops, that's the RV 11, RV 32. We're just going to do the RV32. Our sock is going to be just a little bit darker. Then we're going to take the RV11 and do her shoelaces. Because her shoelaces have to match her outfit. Just saying. And there we go. All right. I, uh, da, da, da. She laid an egg. Thank you, Christine. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and do the lines on her, her shirt. And then I'm going to do the flowers. So I'm going to use the B32 again. Let me make sure. 85, 83, and R01. Okay, so. And then. Down just a little bit. Then our RV34. Oh, no, no, no. I lied. R85. <gasps> Take your time. I think my R85 is a little juicy. Oh, we gotta do her headband too. So we'll do her headband while we, when you use blue for shadow, do you always use B32? Hi, Cecilia. Um, I had a big problem. I bought this image, but I cannot use these colors on her clothes. Just saying. Um, do I always use B32? Uh, yes, you can use it if you want that purplish look. Yes, ma'am. For the RVs. All right, so let's go ahead and do her little headband. And then we're going to do our flowers at the same time. So, y'all know flowers are not my thing. So, we're winging it. And I'm going to put just a little bit around the edge. Everybody has that one thing that they struggle with, and mine are flowers. Okay, and then we're going to go in with our R85. And I'm going to take my other cap off because I do not trust this marker. Not in the least. All 
All right, winging is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. So I normally do your work. No supervision. You love it? Oh, good. Yeah, I like how it, it gives you a nice purple effect. Trying to cover up all my blue. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with the R83. And then our, I'm sorry, yes, R83 and then our R01. Just a little bit. Leave some room for your R01. I'm really going to have to take a class on flowers. Just saying. And then our R01. This is going to brighten it up, give us that nice hint of a orangey pink. Let's see, grounded from mower. I never would have shaded in blue until now. That is one scary part for me and the mower. What happened? I missed it. All right, so I'm gonna do her jeans. And we're gonna do the B99, because you know I like my... You dented your new house? Oh my goodness. Oh, we forgot to do the rest of her. Hold the phone. Oh, what the heck? We're just going to color it all. R85. Wait a minute. That's not. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so B99. Who else? I know Tina said she's going to get this one. Who else is going to get her? I got her. I'm. I. She is a DT project, so I got her for free. But I don't get any other kickbacks except for the image that I'm designing for. Okay. So any links that I provide are not affiliate links. I just want to make sure that you guys know that. And I'm using sweet sentiment paper like I always do. I love my sweet sentiment paper. Let's see. How do you change the nibs on your markers? I'm going to get her. Me, I have two love dogs. Um, there is a tweezers that you get that you can buy. They're Copic tweezers. And I always pull the when I'm filling my marker, I always pull this end off because I barely ever use, I, well, I won't say barely, I don't use that end. And if it gets a little messed up, then I'm not crying over it. B97.
You can get the Sweet Sentiment paper at sweetsentiment.us. And you can see how amazing this paper is. It blends like a dream. Just saying. I love this paper. It's the only paper I use. When you have your little lines, make sure you're blending them out. I'm gonna come up around him right there. I'm just gonna finish this leg off with this color. Whoops, went out of the lines a little bit. That's all right. Nobody's perfect. Oh, okay. Um, give me a second. Yeah, somebody came on the live the other day and was saying how she was using the little tiny nibs. And I said I hadn't heard of them. I'd heard of them. I have some. <laughs> I was like, darn, really? But I haven't used them yet. I forgot I bought them. I did, I did. Okay, give me a second. This is what the tweezer looks like, Darlene. It's a Copic tweezer. And you just grab the nib, pull it right out. Easy peasy. Hi, Marvick. Yeah, it was like the heat index was 103 today. It was hot. It was just plain hot. All right, so let's do her tennis shoe. Uh, what did I do her tennis shoe? And I didn't write it down. So we're going to wear that too. All right, let's do W3. W3. Because we want her to have white tennis shoes because she's got pink shoelaces. And just putting it in a few places. And I think I went down along the seam. I didn't use warm, I used white, or the, the C's, but we're using the warms. Uh, what do tiny nibs look like? Um, hold on, here they are. Sketch fine nibs. They're teeny, weeny, weeny. See? Teeny. Little guys. Little, little, little. All right. So I'm just going to bring this out a little further. Like so. Then I'm going to take my zero and blend the line in so that you don't see the line. This gives it a nice soft look. 
Okay, there's her tennis shoe. Let's work on this puppy. He doesn't look like a puppy to me. He's a big guy. Okay, so we're going to do E37. Um, yes, I'm using Sweet Sentiment paper. It is the bomb. I highly recommend it. At least try it. It blends like a dream. And you can do colored pencils on it. You can do watercolor on it. It's, it's really nice. It's off-white, and it has a little sparkle to it. Because everybody needs a little sparkle in their life. Just saying. So, I'm attacking this fur like I would hair. Because animals are can be difficult for me and I wanted to make sure I practiced a lot on the fur I didn't make it look I made it smooth fur because I haven't mastered the fur fur look <laughs> that's such a thing <laughs> a fur fur look oh lord dawn all right so i'm just flicking my darkest colors and then i just went over his eyebrows so that they and his his eyelid I like so. And this eyelid right here. And then I just added a little bit right here. And try to do your little flicks. It is easier to blend little flicks than it is to um, blend a straight line. You ordered the pixie dust? Oh, girl, you're going to love it. So can you replace chisel side with the tiny nibs for teeny tiny places? Um, I don't know. I don't see why not. If I remember, I'll try to replace one before the end of the before my end of my video okay all right make sure that's in frame e33 and again flicking out oh gonna have to turn my fan on people it is so hot outside even with the air conditioner running Girls, it is freaking hot. I need a breeze. Oh, yeah, that feels good. All right. So, and with our second pass, we're going to come further up with our darker. I always, less is more when you're doing your first pass. Okay, because you can add, it's harder to take away. And just like here, you want to do two passes. Isn't he cute?
What is this, a basset hound? That's what he looks like to me. But I could be wrong. Yes, you are correct, Lynn. I have done that too. Added pencils to the Copics. And it, it makes a huge difference. It really looks good. But I haven't done it in a while. Whoops. Yeah, the chisel end, it looks a little bit wider than the nib end, so you might have to just switch out your chisel and your nib. Uh, not your chisel, I'm sorry. Your nib end with your smaller nib and then just keep it like in a baggie or something maybe to keep it moist. I haven't done it, so some of the girls on here may have and they'll know better than me. For the tiny, tiny nibs. I'm leaving the floor open so that they can jump in and say, yes, you can do it, or no, don't do it. And Basset Hound, with a blanket on you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's extremely warm. All right, so we're going in with our second layer. You always want to do two layers, just like you do with hair. I'm going to come over here. dark up here. I feel like it needs it. Yeah, so tomorrow, I don't know if I said this already, with the grandkids, we're taking them back to the Jurassic Golf because they wanted to play the video games. And we had to be back here for 3 o'clock, so we're going to go back to play Jurassic Park to play the video games. And then they want to go back to the river, so that's where we're going tomorrow. And I don't mind going to the river, because I can sit with a chair, with my feet in the water. get some sun. It's extremely relaxing. Take some good pictures of my boys. And like I said, I will not be doing a live on Thursday because we're going to the Science Center. But starting next week, my schedule will be back to normal. So you will have me three days a week again. All right, and E31.
Hey Dawn, I'm just tuning in. I was already starting to watch and something came up, so I'm watching now. Hey Darlene! Thank you, Denise. That's right, Michelle. Wonder if you could keep the nib if you change over. Anyone know? Yeah, I'm going to do it at the end of the live. I'm going to change my one of my nibs, chisel nibs, for the um, tiny one. All right, so now we're going to do some white on our puppy. Okay, so for the white, we're doing W2. On the dog, looks wonderful. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, they do. They live six hours away, so I'm going to spend time with them. Put a little down here on his belly. There'll be a little bit of a shade around his leg. I'm gonna go up around his little foot. Did I go around? Yeah, I went around here a little bit. Okay, and then his paw. Yeah, this guy's, he's pretty easy to color. I don't know why I stress myself out over animals coloring them. Because when I start, I'm like, I got this. You just have to take your time and think where you want your shadows and all that. I'm thinking I didn't use the W2 on him, but that's okay. We're using it now. Does anybody have any questions? All right, now we're going to use the W0. Oh, that's wonderful, Charlotte. I know, right, Darlene? It is stinking cute. Just saying. And then after we do all this, we're gonna go in with our colorless blender and smooth out these lines. This is a Digi Doodle stamp. If you are new, I'm going to public service announcement, people. Um, if you're new to my page, please go to Donji Designs on Facebook and like and follow. Also, go to Digi Doodle Studio Digi Stamps and join. This is a Digi Doodle Stamps. That would be wonderful. All right, I'm gonna come down around his nose to give him some color. All right, now I'm gonna take my colorless blender. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Tina. And I'm gonna flick into the lines. 
and it's going to lighten up that line to give us a more of a natural white look. Alright, so let's do this part of his eye. What part, what color is this part of his eyes, guys? I don't know. So while you're trying to figure that out, I'm going to do his nose if I can find the right colors. Okay. W9. Let's get his little nose done. Yes, colorless blender. Zero. W nine, W six, pinky red, brown, white. Yeah, I didn't know if it was a pinky brown or a white. I was torn. And what did I just do? Six? Let's do three. No, I think actually I did two. There's his nose. I want to add just a little more W6. Lighter fur color, white, white. Hold on, I'll look at one of mine. Lighter fur color for his eye. I did 31, so let's just go ahead and do that. says his eyes white well it's brown now how now brown cow get his little eyeballs okay so let's get our little chihuahua colored <clears throat> excuse me excuse me <coughs> I need to take a drink of water. Hi, Kim. How are you? You lost the video, May? Oh, no. That's terrible. All right. So, now we're going to do this little guy. <clears throat> I'm going to do him W3. Because he's going to be white. Actually, it looks... Oh, I did his cheeks. Let's do his cheeks. I did it... What did I do his cheeks? R00 and R000. Did I get it out? I got it in my hand. Alright, so let's give him a little cheek. because he's cute <clears throat> and he's whimsical so he needs a cheek and there is his cheek all right so w6 he's going to be like a grayish white i 
wanted him a little bit darker. And his little tail. And just a little tiny bit around his muzzle. And then I just went across the top of his head just very gently. And his ear. And just a little bit right here. Okay. <clears throat> Nancy, I'm sorry. Yes, Eastern Standard Time. Oh, well, if you want, I, if you go to my Don G Designs page, um, and you look on the left side, there's a bunch of words. There's one that says videos. As soon as I'm done this, it will pop up in the video section and then you can watch it uh the rewind bleh, bleh, the rewind or re the recorded oh my gosh that did not want to come out did it people i'm so sorry that is so frustrating I, that's why I try to put Eastern Standard Time, but sometimes on my page, it won't let me bold it, put it in bold. All right, and then W0. All right, and I'm just going all over. Everywhere there's some white. Nancy, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me on my page. Okay, send me a private message. All right. So now I'm going to take the R triple zero, if I can find what I did with it. If I was the R, there I am. I'm going to give him some little cheekers and his ears. And notice how I put the gray in there because that'll keep the pink from being too bright. You don't want that pink too bright. And then the R double zero. Oh, actually it was R double zero, R triple zero. My bad, I picked up the wrong one. So let's see if we can't lighten that up a little bit. And there's his ears. And just the 100 for his little nose. And then we're going to give her some ground to sit on. He's got his little tongue sticking out. We need to make that pink. Um... There we go. All right, so for the ground, let's see. I'm using pink and brown. Let's use um, G43 and G40. Okay, we'll do, been wanting to join you and I was finally off to do like, oh honey, so frustrating. I apologize, G43. 
All right, so hmm, how are we gonna do this? I didn't practice this either, so this is winging it. That was the G43, and let's do the G. Do you leave the inside of her mouth white? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Janie. It's kind of like her teeth. I mean, you could make it dark if you wanted to. Now she's not floating. Um, should we do? Oh yeah, how am I gonna do that? Um, oh yeah, I gotta go up because of her hands. <laughs> Wasn't thinking about that. Okay, and then the G forty. So that means I have to come across. So that it looks even. Okay, let's go back to our G43. I got quiet, didn't I? Hmm. I was concentrating. All right. So let's go ahead. and put our card together. There, that looks much better.
eight. Well, if we're doing the ground, we might as well give her a little bit of sky. Oh, this one is dry. That's the dry one. Whoops, just fell in the trash. Have to make sure I get it out. This gives our card a nice complete look. Or our image. Make sure you don't pick up that red. You don't want to do that. done great picked up some color there but I don't think anybody's gonna notice that all right let's move all these markers out of the way and get our card made thank you everybody whoops that's all the way out all right so now for our card we have a five and a half by five and a half five and four eighths by five and four eighths inch card okay and I'm using digi doodles cutie pie cutie Paul's paper and the Cutie Paul's Sentiments from DigiDoodles. I have links to everything. Thank you, everybody. Hi, Effie. So let's start. This is five and three eighths by five and three eighths. This is five and two eighths by five and two eighths. And again, I will have all this on my blog. This piece is four, four by three and two eighths. This is three and seven eighths by three and one eighth. <clears throat> so let's get this on the page. Doesn't look like I cut that very even, does it? All right, so this is going to go right here. So now this piece is five and one eighth by two and one eighth, and this is five by two. So I this is from a die set from Whimsy, and it's called. Oh crap! What did I do with it? I just had it. I will have the link on my page. I am. I apologize. It was just right here oh here it is it's called whimsy puppy paul's die set okay so i'm gonna put this right here so i gotta kind of make sure so what i did is i put two layers of cardstock on each end because see how this is going to be if you didn't do that then your paper would slope it wouldn't lay flat this would go down and you don't want that that doesn't look attractive so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to glue this right here that way i know i have it perfect make 
make sure I do it straight. have to finagle it a little bit. All right. All right. So now, actually, where's my scissors? I'll show you what I did. So I need to put two layers of cardstock right there so that it lays flush. So I will show you how I do that. I just cut two pieces and I just have to cut them down a little bit. Then I'm gonna glue them together. know it's too long so we're going to cut it off and there we go <clears throat> then we're going to glue it on to the back and now all this will lay flush on our card see it's not sloping down and you guys are gonna kill me because I forgot to do it over here. So we'll do that real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda cut like a half circle. Cause I'm gonna put it right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over, trace over, or not trace, just cut like I just did. It doesn't have to be exact. Use your scrap cardstock. Doesn't have to be the same color because nobody is gonna see it. image on. Make sure you glue it in the right spot. Whoop. Yeah, I love this glue too. Alright, so we want this over here, so we want to make sure that this is on correctly. Squirrel, somebody had a squirrel moment. All right, so let's go ahead and glue all this down to our paper. <clears throat> do you guys wanna do comment picker for this card? And the winner has to be online. They have to comment. Now remember, if that little box up there, if it does, there's not a little red box that says live, then this is a recording, okay? Your scrap had a squirrel? I did? No. I didn't see it. But that doesn't mean it wasn't there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do 
is I will be popping up our sentiment. But first, we're gonna put woof and kisses. All right, so this is gonna go here, woof. You're laughing at me. I miss the squirrel too. And kisses. And I did several layers of the thing. So I know I want this it right about here all right so let's go ahead and add this glue oh yay Mary Make sure that sticks down. So let's put this down first. Then we know this will be perfect. And this is crooked. I knew it was going to be crooked. Grr. All right, so we have a ribbon. That should have gone underneath it there. But that's okay. We can just slide it under. Okay, so I am getting a... Is Cat still here? Cat, you still here? Are the word dies part of the whimsy set? Yes, they are, Christine. Yes, yes, they are. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to sit this right here. And then we're going to get a beautiful card excluding the winging it. Where is the leftover gray scrap? Oh, squirrel. Duh. Oh, my gosh. That's for another card, people. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, what the heck are you guys talking about? Are you guys on drugs? Oh, my goodness. Too funny. I am so focused. I didn't even notice that. All right, so I'm just adding washi tape to the back to hold my ribbon down. When you're coloring long, you can't type now. I just have to get the paper and make my card. Nope, you're right, Mary. You love this group? <laughs> I love this group too. Oh, I know. I am I'm I am not worth two cents. Too freaking funny. Alright, so this is gonna go here and unfortunately it's gonna go over her hand, but that is okie dokie. Alright, so let's just put this on. Dawn, would you consider selling your cards in a kit for us to color along with you? I would buy them. Um, I would have to think about that, Darlene. I mean, I could give you the links to everything. Oh, you want them already sized and everything. I get you. 
I would definitely have to think of that one. Hi, Cynthia. Yes, Doris. Um, Mary, make sure that you put your card on our page so we can all ooh and ah over it. I would love to see it, and I'm sure everybody else would. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, that might slip and slide. Let's take this off. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this baby down. And then I will go over to Comment Picker. And you have to be still on to win the card. So you have to make sure that you let me know that you are still here. That's right, Janie. Turn in next time to see where Dawn will put the squirrel. And the next exciting adventures of Dawn G Designs. I know, there's something not right with me. Okay, so here's the card. Let's see who wins this. And we'll go over and do comment picker. Oh, there's Kat. Kat, guess what I used? A snot dot. What? Don't said it. Ah! You made me say it. All right, let's go over to comment picker. I don't want to make you sick. All right. So I need to copy. Copy and let's see. I want to go to comment picker. Picker for Facebook. Okay, I'm going to paste the URL and get comments. <clears throat> Doing its thing. Okay, so let's see who wins this card. Michelle Milligan. Woohoo, Michelle! All right, Michelle, you send me your address and I will, um, is Michelle still here? Yay, Michelle's still here. You win. All right, Michelle, send me your, um, address and I will send you this card. Okay, what is what are you guys laughing at? Probably me. All right. Uh, I did say it. Did Cat hear it? She better have, cause I'm not saying it again. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Michelle, make sure that you send me your address, sweetie. Okay. And um, I won't be live Thursday, this Thursday at 1, but I will be back on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So until I see you again, happy crafting!